Hi, George here with another Photoshop Elements project. And this time around, we'll be using Photoshop Elements to remove the background from these two photographs. So we can then use these dogs in a different picture and that's right back over here. Let me just get these out of the way. There we go. Now we'll drop them in here just like that. So it requires a bit of background removal, but it's a fairly straightforward Photoshop Elements project. If you want more Photoshop Elements projects, take a look at my channel. You'll find a link for that right down there in the description. Let's now go ahead and grab the photos for this. I'll just delete these two dog layers first, get those out of the way. Let's go ahead then and download the images down here so we can use those in Photoshop Elements. And I found these images over on a website called pixabay.com. It's where I normally go to find images. Let's bring that up. Here we go. Now pixabay.com is free to use. I recommend getting an account at Pixabay. The account is also free. No charge in here. You can donate if you want to to the different photographers. I think that's a good idea. But again, free to use any way you want. And the first image we have up here is our background image. And that's right here. And I put this link for this image in the description. And then go over here, come to free download. And you want the 1920 by 1271 file right here. And then just click download. And here we go. Choose save. Okay, our next image over here is this one. Same trick. And this is where having an account with Pixabay helps because you wouldn't have capture windows showing up each time where you have to do one of those little match images kind of a thing. You just go straight to your download. Okay, free download, same thing. Go for that 1920 by 1285 image size. We're using that as our image size for this project. Click download, and again, save it to a location on your hard drive, choose save. That's taken care of. We have one more to go, and that's right here. Okay, click on free download. Same thing, make sure we have that 1920 by 1285. Choose download. There we go, and save. And we now have all of our images downloaded. Okay, back over to Photoshop Elements. I already have mine loaded in, but all you have to do is go up to the File menu, come down to Open, and then navigate to the folder where you downloaded your files, and here's the two dog images, and here's our background scene right there. Just choose your images and click on the Open button. Okay, so we have this done. Let's first start off by removing the background and getting our dog pictures over here into this image here. So I'll bring up our dog picture right here. Here's our first one. Notice I have these as floating windows. This makes this easier. And the background is a docked window. To get the floating document windows in here, go up to Edit, come down to Preferences and General. And right here where it says Allow Floating Documents in Expert Mode, make sure that this is checked. Choose OK. You can then do this. You can dock an image just by moving it up like this to the top. It docks it in place. You can undock just by grabbing that tab and pulling it down and floating it. And you'll see why we're doing this in just a minute. Okay, now we have pretty good separation here of the dog from the background. The background is out of focus. The dog's in focus. The colors are drastically different. The edge is pretty sharp and crisp. So we can use an easy tool for this. Go up here to our selection tools. I'll be using the quick selection tool, which is the upper left-hand corner right here. Come down and choose new selection. Brush size is not that critical right now. It's just a small brush size. And this come in here and brush inside of the image like that, move clear around and Photoshop Elements will find the edge for you and make that basic selection. We'll do a little bit of cleanup on this, but there's our basic selection and a little bit more right over in here. And I think we have the whole thing selected. I'm just double checking right now. Looks good, okay. Now we want to refine the edge on this. I'll move the image up here just a little bit. Click on the Refine Edge button. Here's our Refine Edge dialog box. I wanna get these whiskers over here. So because they're so thin, don't use Smart Radius and don't put anything in here. Leave that off. It helps with the real fine whiskers. Normally I'll use Smart Radius, but if I'm doing this for an animal, I leave that off. And just brush along this edge here, just brush over those whiskers. And we'll do it a couple of times just to make sure. And that lets Photoshop Elements come in and try to grab those. And then while we're doing this, we'll just go around and do the rest of the image in here. Just catch everything like this. Just do it in little short movements like that. And then let Photoshop Elements come in and check that. You see what's happening? You're painting in a selection area like this. You let go. And then Photoshop Elements goes in and finds the edge that you are brushing over. And normally I try keeping that plus sign, see it right here, outside of my selection area and then just overlap my brush into that selection area. So the bottom of the mouth right down here, and the ear, and around this side. And there we go, that's all taken care of. Now, come down here to Output 2 and change this to New Layer with Layer Mask. 
Choose OK. And here we go. We've now removed that background. Now you can't see the whiskers, but they're here because they're white. It's kind of a white background. You just don't see those. Now here's where having the floating document window comes in handy. I can now put this right here and then grab my layer up here. I'll just grab it on the thumbnail, drag it over like that, let go. And there we go. We brought that image into our new project. Okay, let's so just get this out of the way. And we know that this dog is going to be going over here someplace. I don't know exactly where yet, so I'll just put him just like that. So he's kind of in the right spot. Okay, let's go back to the photo bin. And let's do our second dog here. Same exact steps. We'll grab that same selection tool. Make sure we're on new to start with. And it's coming near the edge, but not against it. And go clear on the edge. And let's make our basic selection. If you miss a little spot, just come back and do it. It should automatically switch over here to the add option for you. There we go. Just make sure we get all of that area. And then you'll work around over to this side. Let's go up to this side. Make sure we get those edges like that. And then go back in through and make sure we didn't miss anything in the middle. And I think that looks clean. Okay. Bring them up just a little bit like this. Back to refine edge. And again, leave these settings at their default settings. We're using the refine edge brush, which is this one right here, the refine radius tool. And I'll start at the top of the head here. And let's just do the right side first. And once again, just little short strokes like this. Don't try to do the whole thing at once. This way Elements only has to think about just a small section as it's doing its figuring. So it works faster this way, actually. There we go. And then top of the head, get the other side in. And again, just doing short strokes as you work our way around the head of the dog here. There we go. And again, this one's pretty easy because the dog is fairly slick on the edges in here and is a real strong separation between the foreground subject and the background. Then back to output two, change this to new layer with layer mask, choose OK. And again, we've now removed that background here with Photoshop Elements. And with the floating window, we can then grab that layer and drag it over here onto our project, drop them in like that, and get this out of the way. I'm going to switch over here to the Move tool. And let's bring these in. Now I want this dug in the foreground. Now you can see the corner. So he, he was originally like this. But we need to make space for the second duck. So move him over just a little bit like that. Right in there. I kind of want to see a little bit of that hill back in there. Okay. Second dog. Let's go to that layer, which is right here. Now sometimes in Photoshop Elements, you may see your thumbnail disappear like this. That's just a glitch. Don't worry about that. The image is actually here. If I close the file down and open it up again, I would then see that thumbnail. I'm not going to bother with it for this project. Okay, let's just bring them in here and position them as far as we can to the right. So it's going off the edge right down here. So I want it as far as I can go, which is right about like that. Maybe down just a touch. And those look pretty good. There's a little bit of kind of a green up in here. Just a real small hint of green in this area here. And a little hint of green right up along this area up in here. Now, normally I would use a tool to come in and make the edge more contrasty on the layer mask. But this time I don't want to do that because I'll then be losing my real fine hair. So instead we're going to be changing the coloration of this just a little bit. But I want to see those layers over here. So I'm going to close the file down and reopen it and then we should see our layer masks. So let's go ahead and save this project at this point. Close it and then reopen it. File and we'll come down to save as. So it doesn't save on top of this image. And I'll put it here in one of my working folders. And let's just give this one a name. And I thought two dogs, new background. Like that. Choose save. It's now a Photoshop file. And that saves our layers over here. And I can now close this down and get this out of the way. And then file, recent files, top of the list. Bring it back up again. And there you go. As I said, close it and open it, and you'll then see everything on your layers over here, right hand side. Again, just a little glitch occasionally shows up in Photoshop Elements, but not all the time. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to just get rid of this green, but not make it more contrasty. So for that, let's zoom in so if we actually see that. Okay, just a little thin bit of green. You see it in there? Just a thin bit of green along that edge. I want to get rid of that. And this is on this layer right here. And we're going to be doing this on the dog part of this layer. That's this side, not the layer mask side. So make sure on the dog side, if you see that light blue outline like this, you're fine. If you don't see it over here, if it's over here, double click on your image to see it over here. Now for this, let's go over to this tool right here and then come down to the sponge tool. You want this on desaturate. 
I want a fairly small brush size. This should be doing fine. And then it's come in here and brush over this. All we're doing is removing the color just from that edge. And we're just removing the, that green color and making it into a black and white. Now, because of the way the fur looks in here, a little bit of black and white on that edge is just fine. It's not going to be noticeable if it goes gray. It looks perfectly natural, but the green doesn't. So let's come and do this a little bit like this. And my flow at 100% size is pretty small. Hold the space bar down to move your image. And let's just do this anywhere where we see a little bit of that green showing up in there. And it's just going to be up against the sky. Once this gets down to the ground layer, you're not going to see anything. The green just blends into the background. So it's only for the sky parts of these images. And let's work your way around. Here we go. It's a little bit in here, a little bit of fuzziness right here. And this we can take care of also. This is on the layer mask side. It's not really noticeable. It kind of looks like it's part of the clouds. But if you're really picky, you can do this. Double click on the layer mask side. We'll want to hide that. I'm just going to change this tool to the burn tool right here. And then I'll come in and just do this to burn that in. That makes it more contrasty and that little bit of fuzziness goes away. There we go. And then just check the rest of the image. Looks like we're okay again here. It's just a touch of green there, but I'm going to leave that alone. And then let's go over here to this side. Same thing, a little bit of green right in here. Make sure we're still on the desaturate. And this is this layer right down here. Again, look for that light blue outline. You're on the correct layer. And then let's just come right along that edge and take out that green. There we go. And a little bit right up in here. And down this side. And that looks good. Okay, let's go back to fifth screen. That's the control zero keyboard shortcut. That now fifth screen. And that takes you that little bit of just a little thin green haze along that edge. And that's really nice. Everything else looks good. I think I'd like them a bit more blue on these dogs. They're not actually blue here, but the background has a lot of blue in it. So we'll put a little bit more blue on them just to help blend the two pictures together. So for that, we'll go up here under the background dog first. And that's layer come down to new adjustment layer and go to photo filter where it says use previous layer. Check that. Choose OK. And what we want in here is a cooling filter. You want the 82. And that's the right color. Now this is obviously too much. Let's bring this way back. You want just a little bit, maybe about 7% there. Just a little bit of more blue in here, which helps to blend the dog in with the colors of the background. And there's without and there's with. It's a very small adjustment in here. And I'll leave a foreground dog as is so that he pops out a bit more from the background dog. It just helps to blend the background dog in just a little bit better. Now, the last thing we can do is to adjust our values in here. I think the background is a bit more contrasty than our foreground. So I'll also go up to the layer, come down to new adjustment layer. This time use levels. Again, check that box right here. Choose OK. And let's bring the left slider control and bring it over just a little bit. That brings a bit more darks. It doesn't need much, just a little bit like that. And I think that helps out a lot on that dog. So it's a little closer to the values in the foreground dog. Okay, so now save this file out, go up to file. We've already saved it once, but the same thing applies. Do a save as and save it to a new location. And that saves it as the Photoshop file format, which saves all your layers. So you can come back later on and readjust if you need to. And then also if you need to use this on the web or in your smartphone, something along those lines, you'll want to be having a JPEG or a PNG file. I'm using PNG nowadays. So go to file, come down to save as. And this time let's change our file format here down to PNG. There it is. And choose save and okay. And that's all taken care of. Now, if you want to print this file, you don't have to flatten your layers over here. I know a lot of older programs require flattening of layers. You no longer have to do that if you're using Photoshop Elements. The layer flattening happens during the print process and it doesn't actually flatten the layers in your project. So don't worry about that. Just go right over here to File, come down to Print. This will give you all of your open images. I'll click on the top one here and let's remove that. Click on our second image here, remove that. And then there's the third image all set to go. I'll uncheck that and there it is. Click on Print. It will then send that to your printer. And make sure you check out my channel for a whole bunch more of these kinds of Photoshop Elements projects. I have hundreds of videos for Photoshop Elements. Also, if you want to really learn how to use the Photoshop Elements program, take a look at my complete training course and I'll have a link for that right down there in the description. Don't forget to click on like and subscribe to my channel. 
and I'll see you next time.